Hello, my name's Chris from today. I'm going to show you how to install Pingvin Share on a Proxmox LXC running Ubuntu. I'm going to go through everything from uh, getting Ubuntu installed to getting Pingvin Shared installed and walk you through the whole process. And by the end of this tutorial, you should see the UI and be able to upload files and share links to where other people can upload files. So, a little bit about the series, I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So we'll be starting on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. And I'm going to go into Install Pingvin Share. And I have a script that we run. I'm going to go into Install the SH. So we're going to start with bash and then uh, we're going to get the IP address. We're going to set a, um, a directory for the pingvin share of the path. Then we're going to set a log path. And then we're going to create some uh, custom functions for the error out and the info. And then we're going to set a starting te a text to show you what we'll be doing. And then I'm going to set a function for checking if they're in root or not. And then I'll set a function for DNS check. So it's going to do an NS lookup, bigbertechworld.com. And then if this fails, then error out. I'm going to have a, a function to see if the command exists. I'm going to install some necessary tools. So I'm going to install git with apt. And then I'm going to install uh, node and npm. And then I'm going to install pm2 to keep the service running. And then I'm going to set up a repository. Uh, so I I'm going to clone the repository of penguin share. And then um, I'm going to uh, get fetch the tag. And, um, and then I'm going to start the back end and use pm2 to start it. And then I'm gonna start the front end. And then I'm gonna run all these functions in an organized way. So it's gonna start with the checking for DNS resolution. It's gonna check if they have, D, uh, th they have root privileges. And then it's going to install the necessary tools. Then it's going to set up the repository for pingman share. Then it's gonna start the back end. It's gonna start the front end. Then it's gonna say done. And it's going to output a setup finished and then the URL to access it, which is going to be the IP and then 3000 port. And then it's going to show the install path. Then it's going to install the, the log. Uh, it's going to show the script log of where the logs output for this because every time the function runs, it puts it in the log. So um, it puts it in the log here too every time an error out or an info happens. So that's what the script does. So we'll go backwards and we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna go get Ubuntu set up on Proxmox. So now I'm gonna use the Proxmox V helper scripts. If you uh, search in here Ubuntu, you'll see here to where you can actually install Ubuntu this way. So I'm going to go over to the GitHub and then I'm gonna go to install. I'm going to look for Ubuntu. And this is the CT, so default settings. And then this will run when you actually run it inside there to update the app to get and upgrade. And then we're gonna build the container. So I'm going to also go over here to install and we're going to set up the container, network check, update OS. And then we're going to install in apt-get, curl, sudo, and mc. And then we're going to set up ssh, and then auto-remove and auto-clean. We're going to go over here to create lxc. And then we're going to scroll down. And then it's validating storage. It's selecting the storage with the function. And then um, it's going to get the template storage get the container storage, update the LXC template, and then get the LXC template string, 
And then now we're going to download the LXC template if needed. And then uh, we're going to compile all the options. And then we're finally going to create the LXC right here. So, and, th and then we're going to me message OK that the LXC was created. So what this is doing is it's installing the LXC Ubuntu. So now I'm going to go back to the Proxmox via helper scripts and I'm going to make sure I copy this and go over to Proxmox and get the Ubuntu set up. So now we're going to create a Ubuntu uh, LXC inside of Proxmox. So I'm going to go over to my node and then shell and then I'm going to paste it in. So that's the command Ubuntu we copied. And then this will create a new Ubuntu LXC. Proceed, yes. And then use default settings, no, advanced, okay. And how you do this uh, is return or enter to say okay. And then I'm gonna uh, hit, hit down and then I'm hit, hit the space bar to select it. And then I'm going to say okay. Okay, now I'm going to go down to Jammy, hit the space bar, select it, unprivileged, and then I'm uh, I'm going to skip this, and then I'm going to set a container ID of 9.3. Okay, I'm going to set a host name of ping vin, uh, ping vin share. So Ubuntu and ping vin share, return or enter. And then set disk size. I'm gonna set it to 30 gigabytes. And then I'm gonna go, go with that one. I'm gonna set it to three. So now I'm gonna return or enter, return or enter, return or enter. I go through all this. I'm not gonna turn on verbose mode, but if you have issues with installing it, you can. So ready to create Ubuntu LXC? Yes. Okay, this is gonna go through the steps of creating the LXC, starting it up, setting up the container OS, getting the IP address, uh, making sure that the DNS resolves to github.com, and it did. So now it's updating the container operating system. You can see it starting up over here. It's installing dependencies. cleaning up. Now we successfully installed Ubuntu so we can go over to it. We can go to a console. We can see it's working. So I'm going to clear it out. And then now we're going to install PingVinShare. So now we're going to go back to Big Bear Scripts and go to install PingVinShare. And then we're going to copy this command right here. So copied. We're going to go back over to our Proxmox. We're going to go into our LXC that we created. Console. And then we're going to run it. It's going to go through the steps, che checking for DNS resolution, checking for root privileges, and now it's installing the necessary tools. If you have any errors, always check this file right here, and then you'll see the error output there. Now it's setting up the repository, so it's getting ping bin share. Starting the back end.
It could take a little bit starting the back end and the front end. And now it's starting the front end. Okay, now it's done. So the setup finished. Your ping venture instance sh should be installed. It gives you the URL of where you you'll see it. It shows you the ping venture installation path of opt and then ping venture, and then it shows you the install script log right here. So you can go here and you can see what it actually done. So I'm gonna copy this URL right here. And then I'm going to go over to the UI and see if it worked. So we're going to go to the UI now. So I'll go to the a a LXC IP address and then the 3000 port. So I'm going to uh, press return or enter. You're going to see the UI here. So I'm going to say get started. I'm going to put a username in and then an email in. And then a password. And make sure you remember all this. I'm going to say let's get started. You can go in and customize the configuration. You can change the app name. Change the app URL. Show home page. Uh, change the logo. You can uh, set, set up emails to go out. And what they are. And then now you can share. Uh, so you can change the sh uh, sharing settings. So allow registration. Allow unauthenticated shares the max size and zip compression level. If you have an SMTP server, you can add it here. So I'm gonna go backwards and now you can upload files and then you can share it. You can also do reverse shares to where you create a, U a, a URL and then the user can upload it to that URL. So you can change the expiration date, the max share size, the max usage and create. Now it created you a URL, so there you go. You also need to, before I, uh, you need to change this local host to the IP address of your LXC, and then go backwards. And then now if you go to reverse sharing again, and then you, I'm gonna remove this one, and then you create again, you'll see your IP address ha has been uh, assigned to the URL, so it's not the local host now, so this will work on your local area network. So done. So, and then you can upload uh, files, like I said. So that's about ping Vin share, and that's how to get it running on Proxmox LXC running Ubuntu. So I just went over step-by-step step on how to get ping Vin share running on a Proxmox LXC uh, running U a Ubuntu inside of there. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any support, 
You can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.